Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good work. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Or rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, our Father in heaven, as told in Matthew 6.22, knows that you need what all the things that are required for you. This verse may be taken as a motto for the child of God amid all the changing conditions of life. Knowing this should this should lull all misgivings, silence all murmurings, and lead to lowly submissiveness. Where can the believer be better off than in the hands of the God, of his own God? We are poor judges of what is best for us, and we should reason that his unerring wisdom and fatherly love have determined all to be needful. My soul, is there anything that is disturbing your peace? Are spiritual props removed? Creature comforts curtailed, cherished things bitten and withered like grass. Know that it was he who increased your burden. It was he who ruined your worldly schemes and your cherished hopes. Why? Because he knows that it is needed to bring you to the higher spiritual blessings, the blessings of goodness, as Psalms 21.3 quotes. Seek to cherish a more childlike confidence in your Heavenly Father's will. He will not lead you wrongly, for unutterable kindness is the characteristics of his dealings. Considering our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and remembering that from Bethlehem's cradle to Calvary's cross, there was not a redundant or unnecessary thorn which he, the man of sorrows, bore. Every drop in his bitter cup was mingled by his father. Knowing this, he could say, The cup which the father has given me, shall I not drink it? Hush your secret atheism. He gave his son for you. He calls himself your father. Whatever be the trail under which you are smarting, let the behavior of a gracious savior be like oil thrown on the fretful sea. Let it dry every rebellious teardrop. Remember, he, your unerring father, knows before a word upon your tongue is what he requires for you to be provided. If that is the case, your inner motives, your imaginations behind those inner motives of your thoughts will also be no, made known to God. If your motive is not true to learn the word of the Lord, then you have lost. Dear brethren, think over these issues of today's tape being a small, very small discourse to give you a caution of warning to give number one priority for doctrine. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In our ability to link to Lord God, the Father, that you believe upon Christ. That is the moment itself we shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth is for very simple, believing in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. And whereas for the believer, the great benefit is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine, so that you should learn to acquire, to possess, to know the truth, and truth shall set you free. For the pastor teacher, the great benefit is to carry Sathon Lagan, herald the word in season or out of season, because of the diamond my witnesses, where everything has been called. The dam after my witnesses in dual infinity followed by Bible in our hands with the witnesses being our hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brother, not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our hearers. But our duty is to listen and to rightly divide the word of the Lord as we go up, grow up faithfully, knowing that our Lord God the Father knows all the requirements of our needs and why we need to worry to scratch our brain rather than looking upon the needs of the original exegesis, isagogics categories, and the dispensing technique of dispensations in rightly dividing the word of the truth, leaving behind a leg great legendary impact in this angelic heart. Light. That is what our work ought to be. And we need to be there not to worry about the softness, but the glory to honor his word above his name. So which way you want to go, dear brother, and you decide, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, we're grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and us in these things, and make it a source of blessing and challenge, our in Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.